What's going on everybody? As I'm sure many of you are aware, Epic Games released a new update for their MetaHuman platform. This allows you to create custom MetaHumans based off of messages you already own or have created. I'm the furthest thing from a modeler and absolutely hate jumping into Blender and Maya, mostly because I know very little about both. That being said today, I'm going to show you how to make a fully rigged 3D version of yourself from start to finish using an all free software and an iPhone. Bit of a disclaimer here, your ability to make the character look exactly like you is fully dependent on your artistic ability and attention to detail once you get everything into MetaHuman. And as I said before, I'm not an artist, so feel free to use your imagination a bit. Starting out, you'll need to have an iPhone with a LiDAR camera. I believe this is from iPhone 11 and up, but feel free to fact check me on that. Once you have that, you need to download the app Scandi Pro. This is a photo scanning app much like Polycam, but doesn't have a paywall right out the gate and operates off the same hardware in your device anyways. It starts with a super straightforward tutorial and once you're ready, start scanning either yourself or your subject. The scan is more accurate the longer it takes and the slower you go. So definitely take your time with this part. Make sure you try to get every angle possible so you don't have any gaps. Also as a side note, don't worry too much about even lighting since you won't be taking in any data other than the subject's geometry. When it's done processing, set your file type to OBJ and editor to Unreal. Make sure you change scale to millimeter because I forgot my first time and I had to re-export so everything would work in Unreal. Before you do export, play around with the settings a bit. I personally use the auto clean, smooth, fill holes, and crop plane just to touch it all up a bit. Of all of those additions, I strongly suggest you use the crop plane tool to chop the head off just at least to make the overall file size smaller. Once that's all set, you can bring your character into Unreal and you'll end up with a 3D model of its head pretty much good to move forward. Add a MetaHuman identity to your project and from there add your mesh and the components from the mesh window. From there, select the neutral pose tab, center your camera and hit the plus in the bottom left corner to add a frame. Click on the blue bar and turn on auto tracking to generate your tracking nodes. If this doesn't look perfect, don't panic. In the upper right, you can toggle different aspects from your auto track and move them to align better with your statue. I had to play with John's eyes a bit to get everything worked out. Hit the MetaHuman Identity Solve up top to generate your MetaHuman model, then the B at the top of the frame to visualize it. Your last step is to click the body tab on the left side to assign your character a body type. And once you're done with that, hit Mesh to MetaHuman up top to export the character to your MetaHuman launcher. You'll get a pop-up when it's ready. Next, you can open the MetaHuman browser, which I have linked below. Open up your character and start messing around. There are a ton of tutorials out there on how this all works, but please give yourself time to experiment with the controls. Most role-playing games have character creator systems very similar to this, so if you've ever played any of those, you should get the hang of this rapidly. When that's all set, you can open up Bridge through UE5. Download your character, then export them to your project to do whatever you want with. Thanks again for watching everyone. If you have any questions about any part of the video or any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate the support and I'm looking forward to learning more together. Like and subscribe, baby! <laughs> you should, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Say that. Nope.